Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave and I'm back with more reactions with an X. This time, super happy to get into another episode of What If from Marvel. Uh, today we are doing, I believe, the uh, episode 8, What If Ultron 1, and it looks like it's going to be great. We already saw a sneak peek of it, I believe, at the end of the last episode. Um, yeah, last episode, not the one before that. And it looks like it's going to be a great one. I mean... It's very similar to some stuff that has been seen in the comics, and I'm super excited for it. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate everybody who does, wherever they do it. Special shout out to my patrons. Uh, you know, your dollar a month really helps, and uh, hopefully you enjoy the access to these full audio, full video, no cuts, like what I have to do for YouTube to get it up there without getting copyright strikes. And for people on YouTube, thank you as well. You guys are the best. Hey. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. Remember, support the original content creator because without supporting Marvel, we're just not going to go ahead and get more of these great shows. And I think we're already getting a season two, but just in case, you know what I mean? We want to be very certain that we're getting more of this. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get into it. I hope you guys enjoy. We've seen this before, a universe in the final days of destruction. But this particular story, this this one breaks my heart. Honestly, that was a really well-delivered voice line right there. And it makes me wonder if all the others were sad, you know, a little sad. How bad is this one going to be? Here they come. We got 90 seconds. Start the clock. Damn, robot arm. So this definitely has to be like the future where it's already happened because we got a bunch of Ultrons and it's like winter. I love the tech for this. It's nice future-y kind of stuff, right? Like, uh oh. Oh, he's got, that's why it looked like that, the cloak. It's like an Invisa cloak. Oh, nice. Damn, Hawkeye's getting some love here. Dead, dead. Ooh, split shot. I like it because he's kind of... Oh, I think that's it for Clint. Oh, maybe he lives from the... Hey, with the motorcycle save. And you got the heads. I was going to say, that was a long fall. It must have been some snow. Oh my god, she used his arm. I didn't even notice that for a first. Oh, wow, he took him down, down. You don't have to do this. I made you for peace. It's evolution. Only a primitive mind would fail to see the distinction. I like that they got the voice. I don't know if that's the original, but I like that they got that voice and it's not just using the Vision's voice. So in this one, he just goes nuclear codes instead of the Sokovia drop. So they must be in a nuclear winter. Yeah, they used it. Age of Ultron. Hell yeah. Fascinating. Oh, bullshit. Bullshit. Really, guys? You have such a good story and you do that? Really? Fucking really? Because if that were possible, the Vision could have fucking done it. God, so fucking bad. What is this? What is this? Who wrote this? Whoever wrote this? Try better next time. Could have done a whole back stabby steely thing. Oh my god, the number of things you really could have done with this and just so fucked up. Yeah. Okay, yeah, sure, totally possible. Whatever. Once again, he doesn't have to do this. He has the power of the Infinity Stones. This is such bad writing. He can snap out all life in the universe. He could do it like this. Oh my god. What is this? This is like somebody 
Just wanted to have a wet Ultron dream, but didn't know how to write. This makes zero sense. The, the animations are pretty cool, I guess, and I like that they're hitting them all, but... I mean, I don't even think Ultron needed the stones to beat Xandar, let's be honest. Hmm. He could have done this by himself, with well, with his minion Ultrons, right, but... At least that's accurate to the level of their power. For like, com I mean, not still not even. Once again, if if he has all these, he doesn't need to do all this. He can just snap his fingers and kill every living thing. Also, he has the Mind Stone and should be able to. Can he hear him? He can hear him. He can, wow. He became aware. That has ever happened, ever will happen, ever could happen, and yet, what the hell is this? Huh? If a hunger like that were to be unleashed upon the multiverse. Once again, the stones don't work outside of their home universe. They already basically established that in Loki. I was going to say, he already showed that he didn't kill everybody because he's dumb, apparently. Just apparently, uh, terminally stupid. There were bound to be some badly written episodes. Let's see what they pull out. Maybe they can, uh... I honestly don't see how they could possibly make up for it. They, they screwed that, the pooch just setting this up. Is he gonna nudge him in the right direction? He gonna break his rule? Because this is just a Watcher. We're not sure if this is the Watcher we know from the comics, Uatu. I mean, we can kind of assume, but... As I say, that could take a long fucking time. But, hey, what else are they doing, right? Shit. That's how I think... That's how I think about it. So it's like, what else are they doing, you know? Oh, he's putting him in danger by being there. It's, I love his voice acting this episode. Uh, yes. This is pointless. Wait. What? What? Get up. Get up. Come on. You're human. You keep hope against the worst of odds. Way. I'm not sure. Modok is the only person I know who could probably just straight control Ultron in my head. And I don't know what. He's a man, or at least he was. There's no way Zola can t could have ever taken. <laughs> All right, well, let's see how they try this. He couldn't have taken regular Ultron, let alone Ultron powered up enough to see the Watcher. And once again, his his things shouldn't even work here. Like none of his stones should work here. Someone did not watch any of the other movies, read any comic books, or give a shit when they wrote this. Or maybe they were just lazy, I don't know. Oh, nice. And it's that arrow, right? Yep, downloading. Ooh, cool, use of the shield. That's awesome to see her with the shield, at least. Probably the best part of this episode, besides, you know, super powerful Ultron. But they just were so lazy on doing it, I couldn't believe that shit, bro. That was some of the fucking worst writing I'd ever fucking seen. Are they really gonna mirror this in reverse? I'm tired. I don't want to fight anymore. Immediately Dot goes into a fight. <laughs> Last fights, but still. Interesting, they just kind of chose that tip style for his arrows. Ah, that looks beautiful, though. 
It's a cool scene. I was about to say, I didn't know if she would make it out, but she also had the shield, so she had something to protect her. Beating up the Watcher! Half and half. Once again, the Watcher is insanely, like, this kind of strong character. Against a real, like, Infinity Gauntlet or the real collection of Infinity Stones in the universe? Yeah, no, but... I do love the art for this episode, though. Oh, nice! The power of my will. It, it could be argued, honest honest to God. Also, that is awesome to see the original. They may have made up for it just with some of the art, honestly, in this episode and the visuals. Because I hate the writing on a lot of this, but they are getting some things somewhat right about the Watcher. Uh, but it could be argued that the Watcher has the strongest will in the MCU to be able to watch all this happen and not do anything one way or the other. That, that would take an, an incredible amount of control. Breaking through realities, that's pretty cool. So this is where that kind of opening uh, scene of shattered realities is coming from. To be honest, it's a lot less creepy on your part. That is a little true. For the creepy part. That's pretty dope. Once again, totally beyond anything this Ultron could ever theoretically do. Not even close to be, should be able to be this powerful. Well, him, yes. They also haven't talked about the other Watchers. Oh, him. So they're going to do that for the last episode. For example, this Strange should be way stronger than that Ultron. Even though Ultron has those Infinity Stones, the beings that Strange absorbs from the Mystic Realms are multi-planar, right? Like, they exist in their own universes, as their own universes sometimes. Shumagora, some of these other beings that may have been his theoretical absorbs, would not sneeze at an Infinity Gauntlet. And once again, the whole Infinity Gauntlet only works in specific portions of its universe. Right, so they've been ignoring a lot of rules. Right, he's in a dead universe, so it's a good place to hide. This is gonna be the end of the episode, right? Motherfucker. So this is the only two-parter is their season finale. Honestly, it was it didn't make up for it, right? Like it didn't make up for it by the end of it, unfortunately. Which is uh, unfortunate. I mean, all around. But we'll talk about it a little. So, my problem with this episode is the lack of comprehensive, reasonable story flow. Like, this is so much more unreasonable than even Thanos giving up his quest, right? The, the idea that Ultron could cut Thanos in half like nothing while he's wielding four other stones. I mean, but even if he wasn't wielding four other stones, Thanos would literally wipe the floor with Ultron. Probably even with the Mind Stone, honestly. Maybe not, because he could use the whole mind thing. Uh, and they tried to kind of push the he's evolving beyond the lines, etc., and outside, and anything in the multiverse is possible, but that's a really misunderstood conception of the multiverse, right? That's not what multiverse theory states, right? Like the, the, the literal multiverse theory, theory that you that we postulate in science that a lot of these things are often based off of is the permutation of possible events within the universe, which could be calculated, right, uh, theoretically to a limited number. Uh, I can't remember which number it is, but there's like a scientific number uh, that is literally that calculation of all the permutations of possible arrangements of matter in the universe, right? Or some shit like that. And so, it's just rough stuff for me to try to get behind the writing when it seems to be 
for pushing an agenda instead of making a good story right like it's cool and where it led to but i feel like you could have gotten to the same place in more realistic styles or ways um and even with better characters right i think it would have been better to to have it almost go the other direction in terms of like strength versus strength like the doctor strange should be way more likely to multiverse jump guard of the multiverse right it's in the fucking title of his job but i digress i don't want to spend uh too long harping on this episode this episode did save itself from being in my opinion the worst episode total it is the worst written episode but it's not the worst episode because even though i'd like the writing better for the killmonger episode this one was a little more entertaining uh, as far as like fights in my opinion and uh you know getting to see a lot of the universe getting to bigger things obviously that's because it's part of this two-part big story that they've queued up for ultron and then they did the age of ultron thing so fucked as well it was just like ah, oh, it was rough man it was really rough for me but let me know if you guys disagree maybe you, you don't agree with me and you think it was the best episode just because it had ultron with the infinity stones and that's why uh which that's a valid opinion but uh, yeah, you can always let me know in the comments below. Big shout out once again to the patrons who get to see this just a little bit early and get the full audio and video, none of the cuts, etc. And uh, yeah, finally, if uh, you want to support the original content, check it out on Disney+. Plus. Check out more Marvel movies and stuff as they come out. And, uh, you know, try to be honest, right? Not every episode is, or movie is great. Sometimes they have stinkers and it's pretty much uh, inevitable. So I'm not going to harp on them. Uh, if the next episode is uh, really good, that means they got a total of seven good episodes out of nine, which is pretty good, honestly, for any good given series to have. What is that? Just above a or below a uh, 70 percent. So like probably 65 or 63 percent or something like that. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the discord chat with you in the comments. And we'll see you next time on reactions with the next Marvel's What If.